Well, smash that like button if you woke up for me this morning. So we got Meek Mill saying that he doesn't feel like he owes anybody anything. And I, I have to agree with him on that. And uh, he was having like one of those LeBron like barbershop session things that Drake did. And then uh, also T-Pain exposes some stuff about Kanye West in studio where, you know, it, like you think he does everything, but he doesn't do everything. Let's get into this. Uh, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, guys. Spread love. It's free to hit the like button, and you get love back in the universe, okay? I appreciate you guys so much, and that's what the good luck is, man. Anyways, guys, uh, so we got Meek Mill. Um, Meek Mill did one of those, like, LeBron talks, and, you know, the conversation got brought up. Do you feel like, you know, you owe family and friends anything after success? And he said no, because it never stops. He said, I don't owe anybody anything. Who, how are you going to please everybody? If you give your cousin 10,000, what are you going to give your aunt? 20 grand because, you know, she babysat you. And then he continued on to say, and some, uh, one of the basketball players said, you know, I remember, you know, they cash in on those dreams where you're sitting around and you're broke and you're like, yo, if I get on, get you a condo and this and that. And then, you know, now those people are hitting you up like, yo, remember that condo? And then it's like, yo, man. Just because we were sitting there dreaming didn't cost you anything. You just told me to go work hard. You didn't invest or anything. So how is that going to be a, a return? Just, you know, encouraging somebody. How is that going to be a return? You know? Now, I think these guys do owe some people that do help them get to where they're at. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say any names, okay? But there's certain artists that I, sh I, t I believed in them. And they couldn't afford my rates back then. So I said, you know what? I'll shoot a couple videos for you. Uh, and one of these guys were in this talk. So I shot mm, 12 free videos, right? All went to the top of World Star because I was uh, part of that situation at that time. And the guy changed his name and then became a huge artist. But then he got, then he became Casper. He got Ghost. Okay, so if someone is investing in your future, which I did, okay, with many artists, okay, uh, without charging them for the videos, you know, because I just believed in them, uh, you do well. <laughs> you do well. I can't, you can't cry over it because you didn't have a contract or anything, but it's just funny. Like, yeah, you don't owe, you know, your friends on the block anything, but you do owe the people that did invest in your dream. You know, uh, so that's where I find the whole thing funny. But uh, I'm not talking about Meek. <laughs> OK, I'm talking about somebody else. But anyway, so then we got T-Pain kind of like low key exposing Kanye West. OK, so he's exposing Kanye West for having producers and ghostwriters. I don't know if this is a secret or not, but it's like. He said, you know, uh, when I was working on Kanye's 808 Heartbreaks, you know, you go in there and there's like 20 million keyboards, but for every keyboard, there's a person there and then there's writers and everything. So it's like you can, almost can't get anything done. And then, you know, he said it was uh, humiliating the studio because I was trying to come up with stuff and then Kanye didn't like my idea. So he came up with a whole song of how my ideas were whack. <laughs> now... Kanye West, is he so great after he made it? Like having, does, do, do you, is that elevating to the next level to have a bunch of people in studio working with you? Like, I think he said no ID, you know, these other people were in there. Or like, is that just elevating to the next level? Or is that just guaranteeing the train keeps going, the Kanye train? You know, cause like Kanye in the beginning did everything himself. He wrote his own stuff. He did his own production. I feel like once you lose that control um, and you start bringing other people in, it totally changes everything. It doesn't always elevate everything to the next level. Kanye, ever since the throne dropped with Jay-Z, it's been a decline for Kanye to me. Okay, that's just to me. I think it's been a decline. Um, and maybe that's because it's not just his ideas. You know, you've got so many outside influences thinking that this is the way things are done. And they're not. I mean, you really just got to be creative yourself. Also, I think it's hard to be creative when you're doing a million things. You know, 
Like you're being dragged in a million different directions. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.